everybody. Today is Thursday, May 7th. Come on, guys. 2020. And it's a great day to be alive. Okay. So one of my favorite authors today, I know you've all heard of him because guess what he's famous for. Well, he's he was a first a writer on Sesame Street, if you know that show. Um, long time ago. And then he came up when he was doodling, just like kind of just drawing. This guy, Pigeon. And he wrote his very first book, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Okay? Don't let the pigeon play with the puppy, right? Because you know what might happen. Get along, you two. Okay. And, but I'm not going to read you a pigeon book because I know you heard those from your kindergarten teachers, still, your preschool still. teachers. And then he is very famous for this series. You know who these characters are, right? Piggy and Gerald. And here they are. Piggy and Gerald. Okay, so there's them. Not going to read you one of those today. He also wrote another series that you might not know as well as those two series. It's called Nuffle Bunny. Some people, after they read the second one, they call it Knuffle Bunny. Um, but I still have to call it Nuffle Bunny because that's what I read to my kids when they were little. This is Trixie, actually, Mo Willems, the author's daughter, and her little Nuffle Bunny. Okay, that's a great series. And then he also wrote Goldilocks and the Three... Bu oh! Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs? It's retold by him because he didn't think of the original story, right? That's like a folk tale that's been passed on. That's a great one too. Not going to read that one today. And he wrote, that is not a good idea. This has a surprise ending. It's really good. Um, uh, maybe we'll have to look on Epic and see if Mo Willems has any books on Epic. No, instead, today I'm going to read to you about a real live animal that not many people know exists. In fact, I didn't believe it until I read this book and someone told me that there is such a thing. Naked mole rat gets dressed. You guys, it's a naked mole rat. It actually is a mammal because he has a teeny tiny bit of hair. You can't see it on here, but there's his big teeth, okay? Naked mole, rats, mole rat gets dressed by Mole Willems. Of course, it's illustrated by him, too. Here he is, putting on his clothes. He doesn't look very happy. Okay, so here's a sign. You might have seen this on the, like, on gas stations and stuff. It says, no shirt, no shoes. Usually, it says no service, but here it says service. So they don't want you to wear a shirt or shoes to go to the store. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. Number one, they are a little bit rat. Number two, they are a little bit mole. And number three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception, dot, dot, dot. Wilbur the Naked Mole Rat, who liked to get dressed. There he is. That's Wilbur. And he's turning and saying to the other naked mole rats, Hello. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, What are you doing? Ew. Yuck. I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy, funny, or cool, or I can just be an astronaut. When the other heard that, they said, ew, yuck. If you like clothes so much, then why don't you go open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. He's thinking, hmm. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. Clothes, fun, warmer, try it, sale. The other naked mole rats did not. I look, they're taking them. They brought Wilbur to a grand portrait 
a giant portrait of Grand Pa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. They're trying to tell Wilbur, look, this is how you're supposed to look. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. Regal's a fancy word for fancy. Royal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer socks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Oh, I gotta yell because look at these words. Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. And he threw them out on his head. And here's his big question. Why not? Asked Wilbur. Oh, something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. And then he thought some more. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony! I shall make a proclamation! A proclamation? A proclamation? A proclamation? When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, whew, he knew it was very serious. But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. Oh, maybe not safe enough. Do they all look happy that he's got his socks on? I'd say not. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter. Here he is. Until he cleared his throat <clears throat> and proclaimed, fellow naked mole rats. Oh, there he is in clothes. I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his little legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. Some of the mole rats were naked. Number two, some of the mole rats were clothed. And number three, all of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. Here's his clothes shop. People are shopping. All sizes, grandpa approve, why not? And then for you big Mo Willems fans, I'm going to hold this really close to the camera. In all of his other books, what does he put in them? He puts a character from his, what made him famous, Pigeon. And if we were in class together, I bet you guys could spot that right on that shirt. And here goes some people from his store, the end. Okay, now I want you to do me a favor now with your mom or dad's help. I want you to go to Google and I want you to type in images. I just want you to type in naked mole rat and you'll see what they look like. And at first they can be a little scary, but just think of the naked mole rats in the story, right? They can't help it. Okay. And it doesn't look like a mammal because it looks like it has no fur. And we already know mammals have fur, right? But it is. If you look really closely at some of those pictures, you can see their really big teeth and you can see um, that they have a little bit of hair. Okay. All right. I'll see you. Um, I got to get ready for our Zoom call here coming up. So, and I want to get this on, um, on our class tag and on our Google Classroom so you can watch it. Okay. Have a great day. Bye.